All right, folks, turn 23, and unfortunately, uh, my capital got attacked by knights this turn. Uh, because that, that misfortune is really just working overtime to screw me over. So, we had a, a huge quantity of knights attack us. My province defense naturally was not sufficient. Uh, we did damage to them, but we didn't really kill all that many of them. Uh, while they just mowed through my, my PD units with wild abandon. So, that happened. Um... We killed 17 units overall. There's still 11 knights left and one knight commander. Uh, I'll be able to finish them off in two turns. I'm moving Castor back in that direction with a whole bunch of uh, sneaky, sneaky snakes, which is good. That's what I want to do. My uh, my boar production this turn was amazing. Very, very good. I'm up to 80 boars in Laos' army here. I've got Big Bill and all those boars moving in here to kill off these knights. We're going to wipe them out and then... Good old Lausus is going to take uh, his boars, and he's going to charge them into Nusian territory. So we are going in and going in hard. I would also like, while I'm doing this, to hire a bunch of mercenaries. Unfortunately, of course, hiring mercenaries is more expensive for me than for other people, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to bid uh, a Fairly significant amount of money for Fordo Bogget. Uh, we've got Nagash, Nurgash's Damned Legion. Uh, we're also going to hire Urgek Beast Brother. For all that his unit is really shit, but we have the money, so we're going to spend it. Um, over here, meanwhile, we've got some archers. Archers aren't actually going to help me that much, because my army is mostly boars. So we're going to leave the archers be for the nonce. All of my all my piggly wigglies sitting here in Hexwoods, uh, just churning out more more boars. Up here we've got a uh, Subi pig and Pollux with a fairly significant army, over a hundred siege strength that can go in against Wolfen Plain and do some damage. And so next turn I should be able to hit this province. Oh, and I'm recruiting a um, I'm recruiting an angsty farmer to lead the next batch of pigs. So next turn, I should be able to hit this province, this province, this province, and if I get at least one of those mercenary groups, this province, uh, Remesia as well, and just take the entire western border of Noose in one fell swoop. Uh, now, Wolf and Plain, we will have to siege if we're going to try to take it, but I can move my mercenaries up to finish cracking that and storm in, while this army, and this army has... Some siege strength, I tell you what. Prize pigs are great for siege strength. While this army can storm in through here, capture mins, and hopefully have Noose just pretty well fucked um, in short order. That would be really nice. So, that's the plan. Um, even though <laughs> we're not going to let the fact that our... <laughs> the mere unimportant fact that our capital has been besieged by knights, we're not going to let that stop us or slow us down. Why would we? Uh, we've got something of a blood economy going in Plague Topia, it looks like. Which, uh... That I hadn't necessarily anticipated. I, I don't know why he has devils. Uh... Confuses me, but you know what? It'll be what it is. I still don't have any fucking blood mages, so that's a little distressing. But, you know what? I'm feeling good about this. Feeling good about the attack on Noose. I think I can do it. I think I can take him. Uh, I've got my. I've got a pretty decent scout network over here. I've got scouts pushing further into Noosean territory, and uh, you know what? I, I think it's going to be a just a straight up good day. So, I'll see y'all in turn twenty four. Okay, folks, it's turn twenty four, and the war is about to go down. Now, I as an addendum, I had forgotten that uh, Noose, the player of Noose, had chosen. Uh, to also take Contact Boar of Carnutes as his uh, saving grace spell, uh, because he is a coward and also a copycat. Uh, boo this man. So, uh, it's going to be, <laughs> we are going to be having some glorious pig-on-pig -pig combat up in here. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, I think basically, I mean, pig-on-pig -pig combat is going to come down to what the bless is. Uh, I took Larger and Blood Vengeance for my, my Pig Bless. Uh, if he also took Larger and blood, blood Vengeance, then equal numbers of pigs will mutually annihilate each other, 
in very short order. If he didn't, if he took anything besides those, I think my pigs win. Because if my pigs are larger, then they can trample his pigs. Uh, if he took, like, like, regeneration and something, then maybe he could accomplish something. I'm not sure what the other part of the bless would be. But I think larger blood vengeance is close to an ideal pig bless, so I have to count on him having also taken that. Um, I just have to... I just have to assume that he also took larger Blood Vengeance pigs. Uh, I have a bunch of Nature Gems again. I'm up to 50 already, so pretty soon we'll be able to empower uh, Big Bill here. I'm thinking that probably we're going to storm into Mints, take Mins, and then empower him there. I don't know. I kind of want to move him back and empower him now, but I don't feel like I can afford to. Uh, yeah, I have to, I have to, I need to, I need to move forward. We're going to launch into Peace Haven here, and uh, <laughs> we are just storming the fucking gates. Um, so we've got Fordo Boggett and Urgek uh, with his horrible, awful, no good, very bad foul spawn. All of those, those guys are basically just adding 50 more siege strength to this army that's coming down to attack Wolf and Plain. I'm aiming to crack Wolf and Plain in one turn. That way... Unless he has, um, unless Noose here moves his army out to try and stop me immediately, I should be able to, to take Wolf and Plain without much of a problem. Uh, he does have, as I said, he has some pigs. I don't think he has nearly as many pigs as I do. I don't think he has nearly the pig generation capability that I do because he hasn't had nearly the nature gems that I have had. Um, I guess I am gonna, it's 11 per turn. I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start summoning one pig per turn here. One one large pig, that is, per turn. Just to make sure that my my pig capability keeps going up and up and up slightly. I've got uh 26 pigs joint with Mikhail going into Jibero, and they will be joined by two priests, and all three of those guys will be blessing the hell out of them. Down here, of course, I've got Big Bill leading 70-some pigs. And then up here, I've got Pollux and Sui Pig leading... How many pigs is that? 17, that's 16, that's 32 pigs, or 31 pigs, plus an assortment of other uh, creatures into Wolf and Plains. So all, all in all, I've got about like 125, 130 pigs uh, invading, plus a few other units. Against that, I've got basically this army. There's not a whole lot else. There's some Jaguar Tribe Warriors and Shamans up here. There are some... Uh, so over here, he's got pigs. He's also got sun warriors and a few sons of heaven, but not many first prize pigs. He does not have many of those boys, which is great. Um, now, I, I figured he wouldn't have many because for him, uh, it's really his, his shamans who can summon them, and not a ton of his shamans can do it. Uh, the sons of heaven cannot. I don't think any of his mages can except the shamans. And it's 25, it's about 30% of his shamans can do so, about one out of three. So, yeah, he has summoning capabilities, but it's, uh, it's not a perfect, it's not a huge amount. And, of course, his nature gem income just must be, uh, lower than mine by some significant amount. I've also got a little bit of earth and a little bit of death income, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, we're going to, uh, we're going to hurl ourselves in to so Peace Haven, Jibero, and Wolf and Plain. Hopefully I will take all three of those. He may, if he sees me coming, he may try to pop out and do something in Wolf and Plain, and he probably does see me coming, because, I mean, there's no other reason for me to hire both of those mercenaries right there, so if he's paying attention, he should know that I'm doing this. But we'll just, uh, we'll just have to see. In terms of research, I did hit enchantment level 2. And I actually ran off the end of my uh, research tree. I also hit construction level 4, which is nice. So I can... I could now, if I wanted to, forge a Thistle Mace, which would give me a nature buff. So that would let me get nature 3 people. I can also forge some decent thug gear now. I can forge the Mistletoe Garland, which gives you luck. I can forge the Horned Helmet. I can forge the Vine Shield and the Eye Shield. And of course, I can forge the Ring of Regeneration. Nature is pretty good for thug gear. I can also forge the Snake Bladder Stick, which generates a fairly large and effective poison cloud. So if you have a thug, 
who is immune to poison, the snake bladder stick is actually not a terrible weapon. Now, I do have access to mutton farmers, who can are nature mages, and they can cast poison resistance on themselves, and they can carry poison resistance gear. So a mutton farmer with some basic gear and a snake bladder stick isn't a terrible thug option. At least not in a, like, a, a really, uh, <laughs> a low power game like this. Um, not a terrible option at all. I also have unreliable farmers who are, can at least be defensive thugs. To be honest, for their stat line, I would almost pay 30 gold for them just, like, as a unit. Um, cause, high prot, good damage on the attack, they berserk, they've got good base stats. Uh, not awful. Really not awful. But, expensive, but hey, you know. Like, what else is new? I would really like, I am gonna clear off these, uh, these indies attacking me here with Castor. Uh, Stinging Swamp, we just trampled right over everyone there. I did lose my smoking Hot Farmer, and I'm not sure how. Like, I haven't watched this battle, actually. What happened to it? My guys are auto-blessed, of course. But, seriously. What happened? Uh, did he cast... I bet he cast Fireflies and got killed by the... I bet he did, didn't he? That's the only possible explanation. Yeah, he cast Fireflies. Fucking... I did not think that having my commanders be fire mages would backfire this hard, but yeah, he got murdered by blood vengeance because he threw fireflies into the middle <laughs> into the middle of my pigs. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. And see, here's the thing: when blood vengeance hits you, what it does is it rolls a hit against you starting with the base as base damage, the damage that you dealt. So if you roll enough to do damage, <laughs> then that increases the amount of damage you roll next time. It's it's sort of hilarious. Uh, but yeah, so he got vaporized by Blood Vengeance, which is just a huge, huge pain in the ass. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm not even worried about it. Brock here is still moving around, searching for sights. Uh, hitting Thaumaturgy 4 for no more wouldn't be a terrible idea. Um, it wouldn't be awful. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna walk him around, I think, for a little bit more. And then I'll, once I get another one, I'll do something different. So, that's the, uh, that's the situation right now. That's the plan. Once we get the Nature Gem scraped together, Big Bill will level back up to Nature 4 so he can cast the spells that generate forts. And I will do so in Forest of Long Nights. Uh, I would also like to forge a Ring of Regeneration for Big Bill, just to make sure that he always has that. So I'll tell you what. I'm just going to go ahead and forge that now. Just for funsies. <laughs> okay, so. We will see how this war against Noose goes. Uh, as I said, I think I have superior pig generation capabilities, so I can outpig him. Uh, now, will that be enough to win the war? Probably not. I'll probably need to break out at least one more trick, which may be mass deployment of swarm, which I can also do very, very easily. Um, or it might be Big Bill storming in to cast Howl, or it might be both of those things. But we will see in the next few turns. So I'll see y'all in turn 25. Okay, folks, turn 25, the invasion has gone in. There's actually a, there's actually a laboratory in Jibero, which is... Hilarious and also useful because I can immediately start recruiting mages from it. Um, we took Peacehaven, we took Jabero, and we took Wolf and Plain. <coughs> we have broken the fort of Wolf and Plain, which is grand. I've rearranged my troops slightly. The mercenaries are actually moving off. Um, they're not going to stay here. All these guys are going to charge in, storm the castle. Now, fuck. I didn't notice that. All right. What? What happened here? Why did that happen? They don't even have any javelins. What happened? Oh, the poison. She got hit by a tick of poison. Are you actually kidding me?
Okay, so my prophet got hit by a tick of poison and was muted. For real? That's stupid. Alright, well, uh, she's... Uh, I now want her to die, but I want her to uh, get off her blessing first. So she's gonna have to cast blessing a bunch of times. I hate that. Okay, well, she's not very... It doesn't matter all that much. So, the, the Poison Bros are going in last. Pollux is going to stay back here where he won't be attacked. Um, the Pigs are going in first, going to trample their way through the defenses. Uh, Fordo, Boggett, and Urgek with the survivors of their units are going down to Remesia and joining this group, which is moving on Remesia. Uh, my scout in Noose was killed, but he was killed by the first prize pigs. So I know how many of those there are. He has six of them, or he had six of them. He may have summoned another, so he might have seven. But I'm willing to bet he doesn't have particularly more than that. So, he might be able to send those guys over and, and stomp out my little attack here in Remesia, but Big Bill is going for Mims, and we're about to take his fort here. I don't think he can hold it. Which will also give us an enchanted gate, which is pretty radical. And of course, I have many, many more than six pigs. I have a lot of pigs. I've got pigs for days. I've got pigs coming out my ears. Uh, we're going to shift pig recruitment over there. You can just research instead of contacting pigs. Um, we've got another little army here from Castor, so Castor is going to roll through here and pick up a bunch more pigs next turn. Uh, this was one turn's pig generation, by the way. 33 of them right there. So, yeah, I'm churning out pretty significant armies uh, on a regular basis. A real regular basis. Uh, let's get one of these guys. And... Move him along with the army. And all three of those can move along with the army. And Brock can search for magic sites. And Eadred can move down there, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, casualties relatively minor. In Jibero, I lost eight pigs. In Wolfen Plain, I lost almost all of my Burgmeister Guard because they ran into the poison, but only one pig. And in Wolfen Plain, in uh, Peacehaven, I lost nothing. My ten prize pigs just fucking trampled everything in their path. My 74 prize pigs, rather, with the auto bless on them. They just destroyed the world and everything in it. No contest. It was kind of hilarious. I don't even know where that heavy cavalry went, just died. So, we are rolling straight on in, uh, the, 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 the Apocalypse is in full swing, and we should hopefully be able to trample down Noose and everything, uh, in fairly short order. That would be, uh, that's the goal. So, let me put some defense in this province here, and I'll see you in turn 26. Okay, folks, turn 26. Now, we have suffered some reverses, but fairly minor ones, and overall, I'm fairly satisfied with how this is going so far. In Mins, we rolled on in with uh, Big Bill and our prize pigs, took no casualties, we lost one pig. In Remesia, our attack was repelled. This was a little, uh, just a kind of a minor attack. A little less than 30 prize pigs, but actually not even that. How many pigs is that? I forget. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, less than 20 pigs. Plus our few random uh, mercenary units, the Foul Spawn and then the Bergmeister Guard. On the other side, the enemy has brought out his own sacred. So he's got these Flesh God Warriors. Um, these are the Sun Warriors from Early Age Mechland. They're capital only. They are blessed. His bless is Awe, which is an interesting choice. It does stop attacks, but it's not going to do anything to save these guys from the Blood Vengeance effect. Um, they have hatchets and javelins, they have awe. It also means that his god is fire seven, at least, and nothing else, because he has no other bless effects. And awe is a is an incarnate effect, so I know his god is alive and has no other blesses. <clears throat> Which is interesting. Um, and so these guys are basically just infantry. We bless some of our pigs as they run past us, they charge on in. Um, they do die. Um, only a few of them actually reach the enemy the, the warrior lines, uh, and they are driven back, but in the process, 
So I lose 15 of my 18 pigs. I lose all my foul spawn, which suck, and I expected that. I lose my, uh, my, all my mercenaries are wiped out. In the process, however, I do kill 11 of his sacreds. So to be honest, trading, basically what I've traded here is 15 prize pigs for 11 of these guys, and I'm fine with that. I'm okay. Um, we've got uh, one son of Apollo here. I'm not sure what he recruited, but uh, what he cast, rather. And then we had a battle in Wolfen Plain. We lost this battle as well. But in this one, we actually inflicted even more casualties. Specifically, we killed a mage, his, uh, one of his Aerosmiths, Metalmancers here. And we also killed 37 of his prize pigs because, thanks to his awe bless, his pigs are small enough to be... Are, uh... So my pigs over here are size 4 because they're larger. But his pigs are size... Come, stop that. His pigs are size 3 and have only 20 hit points, so I can trample his pigs, and he can't trample mine. And of course, when they're blessed, mine also hit him with the, uh, the Blood Vengeance effect. So, my pigs smash through his, he does summon a whole bunch of full-sized elementals to drive me back, which works. Full-sized elementals are a pretty decent counter to the pigs. Um, but in the process, of course, all of his shit that isn't, uh, an elemental gets poisoned and dies. So, that's also... Okay, in terms of casualties, I've killed- this is, I think, the majority, if not almost all, of his, like, accumulated piggage. I believe he only had, like, six or seven first prize pigs at all. Um, plus I killed a mage. And I lost a few random infantry, saw my stinking varmints, and then fewer pigs than he did. So overall, I'm fine with that battle. And of course, Maze has been breached. Now we had bad omens there, we had a festival of growth there, we found gem deposits over here, so 75 gold. Uh, Brock needs to move on. And the next wave of pigs is incoming. We've got another 36 pigs, plus some uh, stinking varmints, coming in to defend Jibero, which has a lab in it. We are assaulting Mins. Now, we're not going to get our Bless in this fight, because we are outside our um, Dominion. But if this army comes down to try and fight me, Big Bill is going to wipe the floor with them, because Big Bill has Iron Skin and Personal Regeneration, and he's size 6. So Big Bill can absolutely trample right the hell through pretty much, pretty much anything. Now, his maximum HP is cripplingly low, because he's in enemy dominion. But, um, even so, once he berserks, he's going to have 25 prot. I, this army can't stop him. This force up here, if they bring all the shamans down and summon full-size elementals on top of him... They might be able to kill him, but then he's also got 70-some pigs. So it's not like he's going to be an easy, isolated target. They don't have the numbers to stop him. So I think this battle, I think this battle's going to go fine. Meanwhile, over here, we are churning out uh, additional pigs. We're moving this pig over here to keep churning out additional pigs. Um, and I'm, I, I think overall things are going fine. I've got a whole bunch of... These guys, the farmer's husbands, lined up over here. We're going to recruit another farmer who can read, I think. And we've got mages coming from there. We got, we've been recruiting these guys. I have a blood mage. My first blood mage now exists. We're going to keep recruiting the blood mages. Um, and then over here, we don't have a lab, but up here we do. No, we don't. We don't have a lab up there either. Now uh, we do have Sui Pig. Uh, my my unfortunately damaged prophet. We're gonna we're gonna just suicide Sui Pig. Um, I don't need a, a holy two unit. And Pollux is gonna shift down there. I have 16 province defense, so unless he sends a bunch of mages, I can actually probably hold the Forest of Long Nights with 16 province defense plus my units. Yeah, actually Pollux, just stay here, defend the place, perhaps patrol. That'll be fine. <clears throat> and if he sends if he sends a little speculative task force, we may be able to actually stomp it out here in Forest of Long Nights. Uh, and then we've got a couple more scouts. I'm absolutely covering the land with scouts over here. And I've got Mikhail, who is leading just two pigs. Literally two pigs. Uh, let's move him up there, why don't we? Yeah, like that. Okay, sounds good. So that's the turn in terms of research. We're going to hit Alteration level 6 pretty quickly, and then we will uh, go on from there. We're at Construction level 4, so we can forge higher level items. 
Uh, unfortunately, I just don't have much that I can actually forge. Um, I could forge Boots of the Messenger if anybody could wear them who was useful. I could forge amulets, handfuls of acorns. I could forge the Miraculous Cure-All Elixir if I had a Nature 5 Mage, but I don't, so I can't. Uh, and, of course, I can forge some basic Nature Thug gear. I was actually talking about this last turn, I believe, talking about the Snake Bladder Stick. I may try the Snake Bladder Stick thing sometime pretty soon, but I want to keep saving up gems for now. So, that's turn 26, and I'll see y'all in turn 27. Alright, it's turn 27, and I'll be honest, this has been a hectic turn. Not necessarily for what happened in the game, but because of what's happened outside the game. So we took over Wolf and Plain, hilariously. He wasn't, he didn't have any province defense in Wolf and Plain. So Sui Pig just walked in and fucking took the place over, lock, stock, and barrel, which is sort of hilarious. Um, I could, now I have the opportunity here to collapse all of my forces onto Remesia, um, and spark an ultimate battle of ultimate destiny. I'm not sure I want to do that. I've been thinking about it, and I'm like, I actually think that that might be a negative for me. Because, look, so I've got these stinking varmints, right? They have this poison cloud. They're not trampleable by the enemy pigs, because they're size 3. So, they can actually stop the enemy pigs and do a whole bunch of damage to them with the poison aura and with their, their multiple attacks. Um, if I bring in a hundred pigs... They can't do that, and the hundred pigs can't be, won't be all blessed because it's not in my dominion. So Big Bill is not auto blessing them. So I don't really, uh, I don't really want to do that. Actually, um, what I do want to do is forge a vine shield, which I will sell to my good friend Plague Topia. Now Plague Topia and I have become best buds, uh, largely because Swanpire was threatening to attack me and tried to recruit Plague Topia to join that attack. And I messaged Swanpire and was like, hey, I see your giant pile of Hatun Runa. Don't you do it. I'm watching you. And he was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to come and attack you. I'm going to take all your shit. Uh, and then I talked to Plagetopia, and he had apparently invited Plagetopia to join him in the attack. And the Plagetopia canceled their non-aggression pact with Swanpire. And then Swanpire messaged me back after I had spent a little bit of time messaging him pictures of fried chicken and threats to eat for to have Big Bill eat all of his birds. <laughs> and he, uh, this is peak diplomacy, by the way. This is the way Dominions is meant to be played. And then he messaged me back to say, uh, actually, the attack's off. Uh, I'm not going to fight you. Uh, go do whatever. So, cool. So here's what I'm doing. I'm building a temple, and I'm preaching here in Minns to, to, to break down Awakening Lad's Dominion. I don't know how many temples he has exactly. He's got one there. He's got one there. I think that might be it. He might only have two temples. If he only has two temples then I've got him out-templed, and I'm about to have five temples, which will kick my Dominion chance up, spread chance up by 5%. Um, plus, of course, I've got my god there, so three of my temple checks are localized to that province. Plus, I've got people preaching. Um, plus, I'm about to have a temple there. Plus, I have the Throne of the First Age, which spreads Dominion three times. So I'm hoping... He has a temple there, too, so he has at least three temples. But I'm hoping that I can literally push his dominion back so that I can have Big Bill up to full strength uh, when I'm fighting next turn. I would it, I would love to have that in Min's. Probably not going to happen next turn, but I might be able to push his to, to get my dominion into Peacehaven and uh, potentially Wolf and Plain sometime soon. Over here, my pigs are just absolutely churning out the bacon. Uh, I would like to have... I've got one lady contacting... I'd like to have a second. Priscilla can move over there. All of my nature gems need to go to the war effort right now. I can't afford to save them up. Um, but I am I'm building that fort vine shield because I'm going to sell it to Plagetopia for a slight profit, one gem profit. Uh, up here, Mikhail's going to preach. I've got a few troops up here. Let's just split them up like that. Pollux can move some troops down south, concentrate a little bit more. They can't attack me up here right now because I have Sui Pig here in Wolven Plain. So they have to break out before they can do anything. I am still worried about Forest of Long Nights being attacked. I don't want them to be attacked, but I don't have troops in position to really defend them at the moment. So 
Kind of is what it is. I have a few more stinking varmints being recruited, though, so I can add those to Pollux's army. He has the Robe of Missile Protection as well. And then double back if necessary, if it looks like they're going to break out a wolf and plane and go attack me somewhere. This army here, I, I think my scout is probably overestimating the size of this army because I don't think this would be at least 100 prize pigs. I don't think they have 100 prize pigs yet. They have eight first prize pigs. Uh, first prize pig recruitment depends on Dominion. So far, from what I've seen, it ranges between one and four per pig per turn. Per these guys, per turn. So, I, for example... Excuse me, here in Hexwoods, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen first prize pigs. My pig spawn last turn was 36, so it averaged just about two per each, and that's with five Dominion in the province. Uh, I don't think he has higher Dominion than I do, at least not much higher Dominion. He has Awakening Lad, the only Kunshu, Kunshu here. Um, so I, I don't imagine that he's spawning more than about an average of 15 to 20 pigs per turn. If he was spawning more than that, he'd be quite lucky. So, I, I don't think he has a hundred of them. I think he, I mean, I killed a bunch, and then he fell back with some. He might have, like, 60 or 70. That's potentially possible. But I think if we were to collapse on Remesia and fight a huge battle there, I think I'd win. But I want to, I, I don't want to do that. I would like to, I would like him to actually come out with everything he has and fight this army, and spend a bunch of gems summoning elementals and all this stuff, and I'd like him to get a bunch of his pigs killed with poison. Because I think I can trade that effectively, at least. Um, I don't think he can really summon air elementals. Um, there is a laboratory here, so also what I can do is I can actually send these ladies out with some gems. And I can have them cast Swarm. Uh, and Swarm will give me a little bit more chaff in the fight. And they'll also fly around back and, like, annoy people and stuff. And, of course, if he comes to fight Big Bill, Big Bill will cast Howl, because Big Bill can do that, because he's that just that cool. Um, as well as Iron Skin himself, which will give him an extra three Nat Prot, and cast Personal Regeneration, which will, of course, make him regenerate uh, seven hit points a turn in this case, in this Dominion level. Uh, which will make him very, very, very hard for anyone to kill. Uh, even... Even fire elementals, he would have a decent chance against at that point, because if he hits them, he gets two attacks per round. If he hits them even once, he's likely to knock them down a size, um, and then he can trample them. And with regenerating seven hit points a turn, and with the high protection, he'd have like 12 resistance to their attack, so several fire elementals could still kill him. But as we lower enemy dominion, he'll get stronger and stronger. And I don't think the Oni Kunshu will be able to stop him in my dominion. In his dominion, he might be able to stop me. In my dominion, definitely not. So definitely pushing the dominion is going to be a key part of our strategy as well. Now, if I... I've already taken these two provinces, like, definitely for good and all. I don't think he's getting them back. Um, I would actually be willing to accept peace. I've taken these three provinces. With these three provinces and maybe also Wolf and Plain... I would be willing to accept peace. Now, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if, if Noose would accept peace, because that would be pretty damaging to just lose those provinces and not get anything for them. But if he was, then I could take these provinces, make a peace agreement, and go take this throne. And hopefully it would be something really neat. Uh, because, you see, uh, Swanpire, for all that he's told me he's not attacking me, we don't have a non-aggression pact and I don't intend to make one. Um... Plague Topia down here, I lost lost my mind again for a second, that happens a lot. Uh, Plague Topia down here has already ended their non-aggression pact with him, so that countdown is running. Tick tock, tick tock, three turns, and then Plague Topia is going to be going in to fight him. I'm not sure how that fight is going to go, because I don't think Plague Topia has a super large empire. But, hey, Plague Topia volunteered to do that, like, he decided it, it wasn't me, I didn't tell him to do that. I'm actually going to sneak another scout up into Plagtopian lands, because I don't have any scouts in Plagtopia except for this guy. And, of course, scouts in Plagtopia do die of diseases pretty quickly. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak a couple scouts up into Plagtopian lands, see how far they extend. Because if Plagtopia has... Because, like, that's Plagtopia. 
That's Plectopia's cap circle, so they must have at least that. I know they also have this. If they have these over here, also, then it might be a pretty even fight. Um, fighting Swanpire will be interesting. They have a lot of these birds, but their birds are very weak. So, they also have a Yaksha. They can't recruit Yaksha, so they must have summoned that. Yeah, their god must have summoned them a Yaksha. But I feel like Swanpire would be not easy, but not super, super challenging to knock over. Uh, I have my, my second dwarf will be coming out this coming turn. I will then use that dwarf to forge me a dwarven hammer, and I will give the dwarven hammer to the people who are forging vine shields, and I will use that to increase my vine shield profit from one gem each to three gems each. And then that will make a profitable, hopefully, that will make a profitable nature gem trade with um, Plagtopia for at least a few turns. And I'm giving him those vine, I'm selling him those vine shields so that he can use them on his Hawkmeisters, making them pretty effective thugs. At least uh, for this game, certainly pretty effective. In the real game, <laughs> with, with actual nations, less effective, but still. So it's a question of what noose is going to do here if they come out to fight me i'm hoping they come out in, into remesia to fight me and they get slam jammed by my uh my my piggly wigglies but if they don't and they might not and if they don't that's still okay um if they don't then i'll take remesia if they come out with only a few of their troops i might actually be able to beat them because some of them will be blessed by sui pig and uh and they there will be the poison as well so we're gonna have her cast I'm actually going to have her cast Blessing twice and then resist Poison on herself. Hopefully that will take in time to avoid the stinking varmints murdering her. Hopefully. And these ladies shouldn't be poisoned because the stinking varmints should move past them. And they will come in towards the center, but they should be past these ladies before they start slamming them too bad. Great. So yeah, that'll be good. And then Wolf and Plane will still be here. I'll still have to come take that. But you know what? That's something I can do pretty much any time. Just need to move in some more troops to get it. I've got these, all these gentlemen moving in with orders to bless pigs. And they've got like, they've got those 36 pigs with them. So we're just going to kind of like uh, up front with the monks. Lots of blessed power. There we go. And yeah, I think we're good. I've got a whole bunch of archers sitting here that I don't really actually have much of a use for. Uh, on account of them hitting my own pigs and getting murdered by blood vengeance. But I might... I'm going to recruit a Leo and then I might take those archers and kind of casually mosey down to the southern border. I think that would be a good idea. So in any case, that is turn 27. And I'll see you all in turn 28.